She's not what you'd expect. She's tough and feisty, but gentle and tender. She makes millions and gives millions to the poor. She cries, she laughs, she teaches, she comforts. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Welcome to The Danny Johnson Show. We are all very, very blessed that you decided to join us today. And I believe that today is going to be a day that you are going to be extremely blessed. And you might be a little bit shocked, too. Now, I know that if you've been watching this show for all the years that we've been producing it, you have heard my opinions about success. And this show truly is about you defining success for you, you finding what it means to you, what your vision is, what your goals are, not according to status quo, not according to what the media wants you to think success is, which again, they've, they've marketed to us, it's about power, it's about yachts, it's about giant houses, it's about a giant amount of debt and three divorces or maybe five, uh, kids that are just running rampant and crazy and have no values either. We're not talking about what status quo success is. We're talking about what is it for you. So we're gonna so you've been following this show to redefine who you are, maybe even to find who you are, what matters to you. You know, uh, <laughs> I've been down the road that the media has sold us for success, right? I, I was, I grew up on welfare, pregnant at 17, homeless at 21, but millionaire by 23. And what did I do with my first million? I spent it, all of it, every red cent of it. Yes, and then I went on to make millions more and spent it all. The first 10 years of my life of making millions, I spent all of it, only to wind up 16 years ago broke again with now a million dollars worth of debt with really bad health. I had a heart condition. In fact, it was a fatal heart condition that the doctors had told me I needed a pacemaker and medications. I was only 30. I mean, this was a joke to be in such poor health. And this was not my first time. I had a heart attack at the age of 24. So I came to understand that health was a bit more important than what I was making it to be. But as I've gotten older, Health has become, um, well, even more important. As I look forward and I look ahead, I'm approaching 50 and, I, and I'm looking at 10 years from 50 and then 10 years from 60 and then 10 years from 70, what does that look like? And living in a community where I, as a lot of retired people, I see the hunched over, I see the limping, I see the gimping. I see the pain on people's faces, also the limitations that they have in their, in their physical bodies is limiting them from being the people they want to be. This is not how they saw their life ending. This is not how they saw the last 30, of their li 30 years of their life being. And when I look at that, I hope you're looking at that and making the decision that I don't want to live like that. I don't want 15 medications at my bedside. I do not want to have five different doctors and different specialists just to keep me alive. I don't want to just to be sitting on the couch watching television. I don't want to just be that boring person who has all these limitations physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. I want to do something with my life. I want to be something better than what the beginning of my life was. So I hope that we've kind of been ringing in your ears with that in these last uh, couple of months of shows where we've been dropping seeds about your health. Because if you do not have in your success equation, health as a major pillar, you're in trouble. It doesn't matter how much money you make. What are you going to do? Sit in front of the TV, checking your bank account? You will not be able to enjoy it if you've got all kinds of limps and gimps and 19 medications just to stay alive. And what kind of quality life is that? It isn't a quality life. So yes, we believe in you creating wealth, generational wealth, but we also believe in you creating good health and being in charge of your health, being in charge of what goes in your mouth, being in charge of what you do with your physical body. And I have a confession to make. I know you know this already. I have been a fitness atheist. You know it. You know what I have said about fitness until this year. And until, honestly, um, a surgery that then put me into a place of, I'm done with this. I can't keep doing this this way. And if I stay on the same plan that I'm on, it don't look good moving forward. I don't want to look I don't want to feel, I don't want to gimp, I don't want to be in pain. So I began to make some changes and I came across a gentleman's book that has completely transformed my life. He literally has taken a fitness atheist, in fact, hold on, not only a fitness atheist, but a fitness atheist 
activist. <laughs> okay? I have heard a lot of people's feelings through the years, not only through the show, but through the seminars that we do, comments that I've made in various different places, and I've asked for forgiveness, and I feel terrible that I've had the wrong, ignorant opinion about fitness. But joining me today, I'm so excited to bring to you someone that I consider a hero for my life, somebody who has made such a massive difference in my heart and in my mind. His books has transformed the way that I think about food, about how I think about nutrition, about how I think about fitness. He's got a long-standing track record of helping thousands upon thousands of people for decades and decades and decades. He's been a part of the entire fitness world in every way, shape, or form. Not only a personal trainer, not only running gyms, but also a writer who has written in the most famous fitness publications. In fact, Oprah Winfrey reviewed his book and had a very strong opinion about him as well. She says, Venuto is honest about what it really takes to lose weight. Tom Venuto, as soon as I read the first book, I couldn't put it down, first of all. I started implementing what he said immediately, read his second book, couldn't put that one down, and I have been promoting it to all my friends and family members, some of which are following directions, some, of course, still are stiff-necked and stubborn. <laughs> but the bottom line is, is that Tom Venuto has made a massive difference in my life, and I've got to introduce you to him. So, Tom Venuto, thank you so much for joining us today. Danny, thank you so much, and uh, I'm so happy you're not a fitness atheist anymore. <laughs> so am I. So am I. I really am. Like, just today, doing arms, like following the workout for the uppers today, and honestly, I fell into tears. I really did, and I was thanking God, because He's the one that changed my heart. He absolutely changed my heart. It was one of my goals. I had a, I had two years of a sabbatical year, and in the, in the back of my hand, it was like man, I should probably be researching my health. I probably should be researching how I could stay, you know, strong or get stronger because I've noticed through the years, Tom, I've gotten weaker and I don't like that. I hate that I'm getting weaker and weaker as time goes on during the season of my life where I've got eight grandchildren now running around me that I need to pick up, that I need to play with, that I need to wrestle with. And your book really massively turned my entire mindset and my heart around. And this morning I was thanking God, saying, thank you for changing my heart. Thank you for sending me Tom Venuto's book. Thank you for everything I've learned from this man. So thank you, Tom, also, because as a writer myself, I've written three books. It's not easy. And for you to have learned and researched everything that you've learned and researched and then to pass that on to other people is is true humility. I, I've gotten to know who you are through the character, not only of your writing, but our conversation that we've had before and just going, you really care about helping people. So tell me, how did you tell, the, tell our audience, because <laughs> I already know this answer, <laughs> How you got started in the fitness world? Well, I started back in the early 1980s when I was 14 years old. I saw an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, and that inspired me to start lifting weights. Okay, so but what was your body type back well, then? I mean, were I you the likely not, guy to, loot to you know start lifting weights? I was not naturally muscular or naturally lean. In fact, if you want me to describe my body type, I'd say I had man boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Moobs, huh? At 14? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was just, I mean, I wasn't obese or really, really overweight. I was just void of any kind of physique, just flabby. And that was right about the age when you, when you start to feel self-conscious about this. You go take a swimming class and, you know, you're, I felt embarrassed. I went to play basketball and I got called out for the skins team and, you know, I was just I was humiliated. So um, that plus the inspiration I got from, from seeing a, a bodybuilder, that's how I got started. Wow. Wow. So you were the kid with moobs. Uh, embarrassed. You know what? A lot of kids don't do anything about being embarrassed. You know what I mean? They just get bitter. But you got better. Like, why did you choose to go the direction of fitness instead of eating yourself into an oblivion like we see so many people do? I had seen the what could happen if you started lifting weights, not just from this guy who was a, a movie star, but from friends in junior high school and high school. I had a friend, Steve, who had started lifting weights before me. And the only way I can describe his body is he looked at age 13, age 14, like Sylvester Stallone. Wow. <laughs> and let me tell you, he got a lot of attention from it. He got attention from girls. He got respect from guys. He was extremely self-confident. Um, and I just looked at that and I looked at, you know, after having been introduced to Arnold and together, I just said, I, I got to do something. Wow. Wow. Now, that was a huge commitment, and you started in your parents' uh, garage I did. with dumbbells. 
Yep. For years, I trained in my parents' garage dumbbells, and then I added barbells, and then eventually added a bench, and I added a squat rack. It just kind of slowly unfolded. And uh, I kept that up all through high school for, for four or five years until I hit college. And things kind of went uh, kind of went backwards at that point for a little while. But <laughs> that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> OK, now you you uh, your book, which I have to tell you, everyone listening, you have to read this book. It's so amazing. And I know we have we have thousands, hundreds of thousands of clients that come from the fitness and health world. And as I was reading this book, I found nothing in it that would be a compromise to what they were doing. And I saw nothing in it that would be competitive to what they were doing, but that this would be helpful, like this incredible, helpful tool that just fine tunes things. And the main thing that I found in this book that was so powerful is it's not about weight loss. It's about fat loss, like targeting fat. And Tom Venuto's book, Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle. Again, burn the fat, feed the muscle. When I picked it up and I started reading it and I right away just followed that part of it, the diet part of it, not diet, but food. Let's call it nutrition part of it. And understanding that, I went from 18.96% body fat down to 14.35% body fat in four weeks, which is insane. That's super lean. <laughs> it, it, for almost 50, I've had five children and I've been a fitness atheist for 30 years. <laughs> okay. So just the just the nutrition knowledge that is packed in that book goes with no no matter what it is that you're doing and your affiliation with fitness or with nutrition, this just man, you made it so simple. And that's the part we'll talk about when we come back from the break, because that's the part that you had not yet targeted when you were working out through high school and lifting weights, because lifting weights is not enough. The next part right. is nutrition. And when we continue back, let's dive into that. Like, how did you come into the understanding and the knowledge of, of trimming the body like that and sculpting the body like that? Because I love what you said. You cannot work out a bad diet, meaning you, no matter how many weights you lift, if you got a poor diet, forget about it, honey. Yeah, and we see that a lot in a lot of places. So returning back here with Tom Venuto, again, his book, Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle. Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle. Get it right now on Kindle. Just go to Amazon.com. You can read it on your phone right now. Don't hesitate. This is a powerful, powerful read. We'll continue with more with Tom Venuto right after this. What do the leanest and healthiest people in the world do to gain and maintain their shape? Coming up next, Danny and her special guest Tom Venuto have the answer on The Danny Johnson Show. More resources, more training, more results. The DannyJohnson.com Insider Membership is your ultimate success shortcut. Get exclusive access to reports, videos, audios, ebooks, cheat sheets, and other training for your personal and professional life. This is truly DannyJohnson.com's best kept secret. Become an Insider member today and get on the fast track to success. Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org. Did you know you can take The Danny Johnson Show with you wherever you go? It's never been easier to stay up to date with the latest content from Danny with the dannyjohnson.com app. Watch or listen in the car, at the gym, or on the go. Download it now from the App Store and Google Play and never miss a show again. Your family, business, and bank account will thank you. 
I'm Danny Johnson, and the most common question I get usually are from people who are trying to juggle their life. They've got kids. They've got kids who are involved in all kinds of activities. They've got business or their job, finances, trying to get out of debt, plus all their church activities and all the volunteer activities, and they're pulling their hair out going, how do I juggle this all? Man, I once lived just like that until I learned Time Secrets. Time Secrets showed me how to be able to cut my hours from 100 hours a week that I was working down to 20 hours a week and tripled my income as a direct result with what I learned. Time Secrets also showed me how to get my priorities in order, which healed up my marriage. And I became a mother that I want now was proud of versus becoming the mother I didn't want to be. And so if you feel like your world is running around in all kinds of different circles, you can fix that. Call 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880 for Time Secrets. Helping you become all you were meant to be. It's The Danny Johnson Show. Have you been trying to succeed with a good eating plan for a long time? Have you been playing around with it? Have you been kind of committed and then not committed? That's exactly where I found myself. In fact, I found myself like completely one day, I'm gonna eat vegan. The next day, you know what? They say nuts is really good. I wanna, I wanna like pound some nuts and, and some fats, you know? And then I found myself bopping between five and six different food philosophies in a weekly basis and completely like stunted in my weight loss or my fat loss goals. I was not moving ahead until I found the book Feed, sorry, Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle by Tom Venuto, who's joining us here today. He's an expert in fitness, expert in, in nutrition. Tom, so you entered into college. You, you know, had some fat issues still. You're working out all the way through high school. How did you learn this insane? I mean, it's insane. Like, it's science. It's math. It works. I'm shocked. <laughs> Well, the weightlifting had gone really well in high school. I, I succeeded in putting on some muscle. I must have gained 20, wow. maybe even 25 pounds of muscle from the whole four years in high school. But then I started to realize how important nutrition was when I went to college because when I went to college, I discovered beer. <laughs> and no pizza. Way. <laughs> and cheese fries and cheeseburgers. And, and so things started to slip back a little bit. And uh, most people talk about the freshman 15. For me, it was more like 20. When you're right the first year in college, 20 pounds of fat. And there's a phrase that bodybuilders use. It's called uh, bulked up. And that was a pretty good description of what I looked like, you know, by freshman, sophomore year in college. Because actually, a lot of fat on top of muscle doesn't mm -hmm. look that good. I mean, fat on top of anything doesn't look good. But, you know, even when you have some muscle underneath, you still don't look good. Mm -hmm. So... The, the big problem was I was going to school to get a degree in exercise science. <laughs> so here I was get, trying to get an education um, and enter into a career in, in health and fitness, become a trainer, and I felt like a hypocrite because I didn't feel like I was you yeah. know, walking the walk. Yeah. So you know, after a year, less than two years of that, I just said, I got to do something about this. And fortunately, I had never stopped lifting. I was not eating right for a while in college, but I never stopped lifting. And I had this one foot in the college party lifestyle and with a diff one set of friends, and then I had a different set of friends in the gym. Mm -hmm. And I turned to those friends in the gym, and I looked at some of these guys, and they were getting ready for a, a bodybuilding competition. And they looked incredible. They were ripped. They had the abs, like Stallone. Mm -hmm. You know, they had the chest and the biceps, you know, almost like Arnold. And I, I said to myself, how do they, how do, they do that? So... I just became friends with these guys and I asked them and they helped me. Wow. And they said, you know what you need to do, Tom? You need to enter a bodybuilding competition. You need to go on the bodybuilding diet. I said, sign me up. So I, I did that. I went on a bodybuilding nutrition program. Uh, I signed up for a competition. And within the next year, I was on stage and I had won my first two competitions. My body fat was down below 4%. Wow. So you went from like, you know, the bulked up <laughs> extra 25 pounds of fat on top of the muscle to like insanely lean. Like 4% body fat means you have major cuts and ma like pretty much all your muscles are showing. Yeah, we call it ripped. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what they call it. Something that got me in the book, and, and we're going to cut to a short break here in a minute, was that, and, and this is what nailed me every time, what do the leanest people in the world do? Who are the leanest people in the world? Who are the leanest and the healthiest people in the world? 
you nailed me so hard with that line because there's something that we believe is one of the more, most important blueprints for success. And that is you find somebody who has what you want and you learn from them. You find the expert at what they do and you study them because success doesn't mean you have to reinvent the wheel. But when you kept talking about the leanest people in the world are not the people who manufacture diet programs. They are not the people or the doctors, for example, who create even diet programs. In fact, many of them die in their 50s. So who are the leanest people in the world? I can't believe I never thought of it to go, yeah, who are the leanest people in the world? Because that's who we should be listening to. Not everyone else with all their freaking opinions and science to back up their opinions, but who has the results. And that's what we're going to get into when we return back with Tom Venuto. The book again, Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle. You can buy the book anywhere, anywhere. But if you want it right this second, Kindle. <laughs> you can get a Kindle app on your phone for free. Amazon.com has it. You can buy the book anywhere. But if you're like that person, you like the physical copy. I just, when I heard about it, I'm like, I have to start this today. And I burned through it all the way on vacation. Two books, actually, on vacation. I read both of them. So again, burn the fat, feed the muscle. If you want those secrets to why maybe you've not been able to lean out the way that you want to, and again, it goes with whatever it is that you're doing. It's just a couple little tweaks that make all the difference and bring some quick results. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after this. Change your habits, change your future. This is The Danny Johnson Show. This is your chance. This is your shot. Get your copy of War on Debt right now. There's one waiting for you that has your family's name on it. And inside that package is freedom. Your freedom, your family's freedom is on the inside of that package. All you have to do is open it up, press play, and start applying what I teach you in this program. 888-757-8880. You and I are going to help your family become completely debt-free in the next five to seven years. Just imagine how that's going to feel. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First steps to success, register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS. So I just want to give you a little bit of my story. Uh, this is my first time sharing my story on stage, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> But I'm excited. I was just asked like seriously three minutes ago to share my story. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> um, so my name, like, like Ray said, my name is Keridan Roundy. I am from Wyoming. Is there anyone else from Wyoming here? Yeah! I was thinking, I'm like, I think I'm the only one that I've met from Wyoming. That's cool. I'm glad. <laughs> um, so prior to plugging into Danny Johnson and First Steps to Success, my husband and I were completely drowning in debt. We got this new job and we increased our income, so we increased our way of living, which is what, what happens. And we were young, we were just married, and we completely bought more than we needed. We bought a new house, we, bought, we already had a truck loan, we bought a new car, we just, we lived to the max. And we, started to, our marriage started to struggle. And we got to where all of our fights were about money constantly. And uh, my husband had a really good job. So we had plenty of money. That was not the issue. It was that we never kept any of it. We spent it on stuff we didn't need. So um, just a little bit of background. It's just my husband and I, we have no kids. And we bought a six bedroom house. <laughs> I know. Well, that's just, we, we had the money. The bank told us we had the money we could, so we did. And so obviously we spent the money to fill those rooms in that house <laughs> on stuff we didn't need. So um, anyways, we just, our marriage was failing. I mean, we were young, we just got married and all of our fights were over stupid stuff that was unnecessary. And so um, I remember one time, just like a, like a quick little look into what it was like. I remember one time sitting in front of our fireplace, our nice fireplace in our nice house, and we were fighting over how we were gonna pay for Christmas for our families. And that was the eye-opener for us, that something had to change. And so we made a decision, and um, I started a business, and that's what actually opened me up to DannyJohnson.com and to First Steps to Success. And so 
After coming out of our steps to success, we have now been able to pay off, this is crazy, we have now been able to pay off just over $300,000 which is completely crazy because we just thought debt was something that you live with. You know, you, you're always going to have a mortgage. You're always going to have a house payment, you know, car payments. That's just the way life goes. And little did we know that that's not the case. <laughs> um, so we now live in a smaller house. Uh, we love it. We actually, uh, I have less house to clean, which I'm good with. <laughs> and we live so much more simple. And our marriage is completely turned around. We no longer fight about money. We wonder what, where we're gonna invest into next and how soon we're gonna get you know, the mortgage paid off. And uh, that's exciting to us. So everything's just completely changed. And you know, the relationships that we've been able to, to grow with other people that are wondering what we're doing, that's been amazing. Because we've met so many great people and learning what Danny's going to teach this afternoon has helped us grow to being people, people, people <laughs> more than anything. And that like we, we hated people before, both of us, like we just, we didn't, we never had those skills. And so I'm really excited for this afternoon. This afternoon's going to be completely transforming to you. Um, as far as being, like she mentioned this morning, you know, like your business is people, your business isn't your product. And so, um, with that being said, I just want to have you help me welcome back my mentor and America's favorite millionaire, Danny Johnson. <laughs> it's time to take on a whole new mindset. It's the Danny Johnson Show. Have you found yourself stuck and confused? Have you found yourself in that place where you've just done so much research, your head is spinning an overload of knowledge, but don't have a clear, simple path to follow to help you to succeed? Now, here on The Danny Johnson Show, we're always talking about strategies, bringing you content about your success, defining it for you. I believe that success should include having an awesome, harmonious, passionate marriage, I believe it needs to include you being the parent maybe that you weren't given when you were birthed into the world. Maybe being a parent that truly is grooming your next generation for success and training them up to be successful people, understanding finances and communication skills and work habits. I believe that success needs to, yes, include your finances, being completely debt-free and accumulating wealth. It should also include not working like a slave for it. But managing your time well and having balance in your life, having plenty of leisure time and fun, it also needs to include your health. Yes, mental health, emotional health, spiritual health, but physical health is huge. Because when you fast forward, what does your life look like? Do you want to be that miserable pig with a terrible relationship with his family and the people he works with? Lots of money, big, giant belly that's killing his back. 17 medications on the bedstand, can't sleep at night. Is that the life that you want? I know the answer is no. So joining us today is Tom Venuto. He's an expert in fitness and nutrition. He's written two best-selling books, Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle, as well as The Body Fat Solution. These books have transformed my life. They have helped to turn a fitness atheist, fitness atheist activist, F-A-A, <laughs> into an activist for your good health. Tom Venuto, we um, were just talking about the things that you had uh, done to change and get yourself ripped, to go from a lot of fat on your body to going down to 4% body fat. Um, there's so much in your book. I wish we could just like go page by page. I want everyone I know to read this book. It has so dramatically changed my life. And I don't want people to go through the book and go, okay, let me just get the nutrition part of it. Which, to be honest with you, I skipped the first six chapters to get to the place where I wanted, and then I went back and I had to backfill it. And I was like, what an idiot I was to skip that part. Because they're like, just tell me what you want me to eat. <laughs> That's not the way to read your book. I mean, you really handle it from the foundation of understanding science and nutrition, and it's powerful. So what were some of the things that you did? you know, this bodybuilder's diet, and, and why should a woman, let's say, use that philosophy? If I don't want to be a bodybuilder and I don't want to be a competition bodybuilder, should I use that same form of eating? 
You certainly can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle is about the secrets of the leanest people in the world. Yes. People like bodybuilders and fitness models and physique athletes, which includes a lot of women, figure, yeah. fitness, bikini today. The physique world has really expanded a lot. And the nutrition and training techniques in the program are based on those people. And I was really, really lucky to get introduced to bodybuilders when I was really, really young, yeah. but not just any bodybuilder or fitness model, natural bodybuilders, mm. because for me, it's not just about how you look, it's about having the health too. Yeah. And so doing it naturally, not just eating natural foods, but doing it completely drug-free, steroid-free is an extremely important part of it for me because you know steroids are just so rampant in sports and especially in bodybuilding. So this is, this is a natural approach to transforming your physique. And it's not just weightlifting, it's a combination of weightlifting and nutrition. You know, Tom, I've been the person that hated to work out. I was a competitive athlete in high school. I got pregnant at 17, and I hadn't done anything for 30 years. And I've always said I hate to work out. Now, I've tried a couple, you know, a couple little, you remember Tybo? Okay, I, I did those for a minute. You know, I did um, uh, one of this guy's book a long time ago. It was like a 12-week transformation. After 10 weeks, nothing happened. I was getting my body fat tested. I was eating the food. Nothing, absolutely nothing happened. I'm like, fooey with this. I'm done with it. I was carrying weight all over the place. I had five children. I mean, it was a crazy time in my life. And here I'm focused on doing it. Nothing changed. Absolutely nothing. So there was like a 12 week, you know, a 10 week minute and nothing changed. I'm like, fooey with it. Forget it. It was all always about vanity for me. It was always about how I looked. And because I got away with eating whatever I wanted, still looking good in a bikini after having five kids, I really wasn't serious. But something changed when I read your book. And it's not about vanity. What's the core of this book? for the people well, reading it. You know, the, the big difference between this program and a lot of other programs for, for fat loss is that the, the focus is on putting all the pieces together. Yes. There's, there's four elements in this program and it's not just dieting. Most people who wanna lose weight, they just think of dieting. I'm gonna cut calories, I'm yeah. gonna cut foods, I'm gonna cut uh, entire categories of foods, like depending on what your philosophy is, carbs or fat, whatever it may be. <laughs> uh, you know, and. Nutrition is the most important element. You can make a really good case for that, but by itself, it won't get you there. That explains why a lot of people do transformation programs and don't get results, because all they do is diet. Mm -hmm. That's just one element is nutrition. Nutrition, not diet. Mm -hmm. Nutrition is one. The other is training, and there's two distinct types of training that'll help you transform your body. One is the weight training, and one is the cardio training. So we have another reason people fail in their transformation attempts is they're only doing cardio training. Mm -hmm completely overlooking the weight training. So they figure, hey, I'm doing a complete approach. I'm, I got the nutrition and I got the cardio training, nutrition and training, I'm good, but they're still missing something is the weight training. And that's just three components. The fourth element is mental training, yeah. which is using psychology yes. and using your mind to help you stick with the program. Yep. Yep. And so what was so interesting is that my husband, my husband, by the way, read the book, and he's been recommending it to everybody as well. <laughs> and he's not an easy one to win over in any way. Uh, he kept asking me questions like, read the book, read the book, because I knew he'd just argue with me, read the book, read the book. But, you know, as we analyze, if you, you can literally look at different types of athletes, right? So the athletes that really pay a lot of attention to just cardio and diet, they have a certain physique, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not necessarily strong. It's actually not even necessarily healthy looking, but you can't deny that those who focus on weights and cardio in balance, like you talk about in the book, that that is what transforms the body. And of course, the nutrition element is massive because that's the thing that changed me the most. That's what just started getting me slimming down and I got muscles in places I didn't know existed now. <laughs> and things are showing like, wow, I didn't know that existed. That's very strange. So when we talk about these four elements, right, um, the mind, weights and cardio, nutrition, what was that fourth element? You got them all. I got them Nutri all. No, that's right. Weights, cardio, cardio was, yep. mental training. Okay. So can we focus on nutrition? Sure. Give us, give us one tip because... I've been one of those that, you know, I cut carbs, I can drop weight pretty quick. You know, when I did that, if I started, you know, inching along, that was always my go-to thing. But as I got older, things didn't work the same. So this whole combination of foods, speak into that. What we want to do is, there's several things we want to do. One is eat the right amount of calories. 
then you want to eat the right macronutrients, which is protein, carbs, and fats. So those are your four nutrition numbers that you want to get familiar with. It does help if you track and you count them, but there's ways you can get around that and you can guesstimate pretty well, but you do want to know your nutrition numbers. And then there's the type of food, which is the quality of the food. So we're, we're talking about two things to get right, the quality of the food and the quantity of the food, yeah. and not just one or the other. Because people who focus only on quantity, like let's say that the 100% calorie counters, yep. but they're not paying attention to the quality of the food, first of all, they may be neglecting their health. Yep. So we want to be lean and healthy, yes. not just lean. Yes. Okay? And then on the other hand, you have this other camp, these other nutrition people who say, well, calories don't even matter at all, which is erroneous. Uh, what they say is that if you just eat certain foods, if you just eat the right foods, that's all there is to it. And yeah. that could work if you pick a lot of natural, unprocessed foods. There's a pretty good chance you're not going to overeat. But the real key is, is putting it together. And you know, again, here's another reason. Why do people who make a real effort fail in a transformation is they're not putting these things together, quality and quantity. And when you get them right, it's not that complicated. Even to track your calories and your macronutrients, it's not that complicated. No. And if you want to, you can do it just once. You can have all the variety in food you want mm -hmm. if you want it. But if you like to just follow a routine, eat mostly the same thing every day, you don't have to technically count calories. You just have to create a meal plan at the right calorie level once and just follow that meal plan. Yep. Yeah, I, I have a lot of friends who've like, okay, they started counting calories and, you know, whether it was 1,200 calories or whatever. And usually that seems to be the go-to place. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I'm going to cut my calories down to 1,200. But they're eating junk food with those 1,200 mm -hmm. calories. And they plateau and they can't figure out how come they're not losing weight. And this is the thing that just so got me because I've been this person many times where I was the skinny fat person. So yeah, I might be a smaller size, but how much body fat was I carrying? What did I look like naked? Was I proud with what I saw in the mirror? No, the answer is no, no, and no. And as years went by, I'm like, ooh, I think it's time to cover it all up. And I started to do that. That like seems to be the knee-jerk reaction as we get older. It's just, okay, I'm going to cover my arms. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to wear shorts anymore. I'm going to wear skirts now during the summer and no more tank tops. It's going to be, you know, long T-shirts or just, you know, flowy things so that, you know, no one can see the 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 extra set of... I'm not going to say it here on the air, but anyway, I can say it live in front of a different audience. But anyway, this is Danny Johnson. We will continue with more and Tom Venuto right after this. Are you cheating your health because of your attitude? When we come back, find out if you're missing out. This is The Danny Johnson Show. You want to succeed, right? But you do not want to fail God at the same time. There is a way to succeed from a biblical perspective, and it's far greater than anything you could ever imagine. Over 500 scriptures I studied to study money, everything that the Bible said about money. That's in the first couple chapters of Spirit Driven Success, not to mention leadership, working with people, growing a career, being used mightily in the marketplace, which is where Abraham God used him in the marketplace. And Joseph, God used him in the marketplace. Moses, God used him in the marketplace. Daniel, Solomon, really all of the greats of faith, most of the greats of faith throughout the Bible, they all were in the marketplace. And God wants to show you how you can be used mightily by him in the marketplace. Right here, Spirit Driven Success is where all of my notes are on how you can do that. 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880. Get your copy of Spirit Driven Success today. My name is Anders and I'm from Latvia. Prior to plugging into DannyJohnson.com, I was a struggling English teacher back home. I had a language school that I started when I was 21 and uh, had grown it uh, to be pretty okay in my city. But at the same time, I had uh, acquired a debt of $60,000. In a matter of eight to nine months, I got rid of my debt. And by 2011, we had our first million dollar year. This has been amazing. We grew our school from about 100 students to 2,000 students and I can only highly recommend for you to come to the next event and be part of this community and learn the tools that will help you to succeed. Prior to plugging into DannyJohnson.com, my family and I were hemorrhaging under the pressures of debt. 
Since attending First Steps to Success in January of 2014, my family and I have paid off over $147,000 in 19 months. We're completely consumer debt free. We have restored relationships and our business is growing at a rate of 15% at every event. Your next step is to sign up for the next First Steps to Success and start creating your own story. My name is Jeff Conyers and prior to First Steps to Success, I was a struggling business owner. I had discovered that my business account went negative 5,000 and uh, I, feel, I realized that I did not have a business plan and I needed to do something. Fast forward to one year after, I have now created, um, just by implementing the tools at First Up Success, uh, over $50,000, created another business, improved my personal and business relationships. Man, it's like the story is forever changing and just it just gets better and better. I don't know about you or what you're going through, but I would highly recommend getting to First Up Success. Prior to plugging into First Steps of Success, we were drowning under a mountain of debt. We we're heading to divorce court. We had failing businesses and toxic relationships. Since plugging into First Steps of Success, our marriage has been restored. We have paid off over $56,000 in 11 months. We've helped our community pay off over $300,000 in 14 months. My business has grown in over 600% in four months. And for the first time, I can say I'm just loving life. I have great relationships. So if you are fine where you are, then this event is not for you. But if you're ready to reach your goal and to change your life, then I highly recommend that you get registered for the next event. Hi, my name is Jill Kearns. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Prior to coming to First Steps to Success, uh, my husband and I were struggling financially and were uh, hurting um, in our relationship a lot. Uh, we needed um, more time together and we just were struggling with that because of the finances. And so uh, since plugging in, we've actually paid off over $280,000 in debt. We are completely debt free. And more than anything else, the look on my husband's face of relief and um, and excitement about where our future lies and the traveling and the fun, enjoyable times that we'll get to spend together as a family is totally worth it. So if you want to have better relationships with your significant other, your children, if you have a desire to um, to be completely debt free and released from that bondage for whatever reason, uh, whatever the burdens are, your next step is to get to First Steps to Success right now. So prior to getting started to DannyJohnson.com, I was a college dropout. I was working a, a bottom of the barrel type job. I started plugging into her training. Um, I've skyrocketed through the ranks of Corp America. I've tripled my income in the last five years. Uh, that's all fine and Danny, but it wasn't, uh, there's a part of me that had the part missing. So um, I ended up using Danny's prospecting skills and I ended up meeting the love of my life. Uh, since then, we've paid off $32,000 of debt since October 2014. Uh, so get here, get here now. This is the greatest thing ever. You have to see this. The, the skills and strategies Danny teaches are unbelievable. They totally took someone like me with no education and helped me just like multiply my efforts. So you need to be here. If you knew you couldn't fail, what would you do with your life? Discover your own answer. This is The Danny Johnson Show. I've cheated myself for years. I cheated myself because of ignorance. I cheated myself because of judgment, honestly. You know, I would see people that were super fit, and I would hear how just some of them, not all of them, some of them just so stressed out about food and I can't have this and I can't have that and, you know, working out three hours a day and I'd be like, get a life, man. You know, I'd see them, even some of them neglecting their kids or they'd be flat broken, full of debt and given all these excuses, but they had three hours a day to work out. In that case, I think it was more of running from something instead of doing something that was helpful and beneficial. Joining us today, Tom Venuto, because I believe that your health is a part of your success equation. And if you're like me, you may have neglected it. Eh, maybe you took vitamins. Maybe you supplemented, like me, like, you know, to the tune of, I don't even want to tell you what my vitamin cabinet looks like. Yeah, an entire shelf filled with all kinds of nutritional supplements. Yes, and every wind that came along with the newest, latest, and greatest trend 
about diet, yes, I followed it. Only to end up back in the same place again, getting older and getting weaker. Not being able to lift my carry-on bag, that is the same carry-on bag I've been carrying for 10 years on an airplane, not being able to lift it. Come on, I want you to imagine, there she was in the aisle, on the plane, lifting, and everyone is looking around me going, is she going to drop that on my head? Yeah, you might want to get up and help me. (laughs) That was one of the things that did it for me. Like, I'm tired of being weak. This is bad. This is really, really bad. So Tom Venuto's book, Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle, changed my whole life. It changed my perspective. I believe it has elongated my life. I believe it has helped this grandmother of eight to be healthier and definitely stronger. Tom, I can now do 12 push-ups in one stint, three sets, no problem. That (laughs) could not happen three months ago. I couldn't even do one, in fact, 10 what I call girl push-ups, you know, on my knees used to take the wind out of me and I couldn't handle them. And now, bam, 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 this morning, bam, 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 bam. I'm like, yes, I'm getting stronger. So Tom, we were just talking about nutrition and the macronutrients. That was eye-opening for me. But I have to tell you, because there's lots of people that talk about that, but you made it so simple in your book, Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle, which, by the way, you can buy that book anywhere. This is a best-selling book. Uh, In fact, I have it on my Kindle because I wanted it now and I needed to read it now. But what you said that was so simple, because there's other plans out there and bodybuilders that talk about food and everything, but you just like, it just was like a funnel I kept seeing in my head. Everything just, bam, there it is. All the science, all the nutrition, all the math, bam, all simplified. And this was it. One starchy carb, one fibrous carb, one protein, lean protein on your plate. That's it. I'm like, I can do that. (laughs) This is simple. This is not, this is not hard. And not only that, but it's satisfying. I've eaten a lot of breakfast tacos. (laughs) and I've lost inches and obviously lost fat. So can we go in a little bit deeper about that? Because uh, there's lots of different programs that are out there, and they all work to an extent, but why is it that they fail? Why is it that people gain weight back again? Well, you gave the answer, part of the answer to that already when you said lack of simplicity. It's so important to make it simple because it's real easy to get overwhelmed, especially if you're gonna follow a nutrition program that calls for figuring out your numbers. Yeah. And, and I think you should figure out your numbers because that means your program's customized. You, you can't follow someone else's nutrition program and expect mm-hmm. it to work the same for them. And especially women cannot eat like guys mm-hmm. because their metabolisms are different. The number of calories they burn in a day are different. The amount of lean body mass they have is different. Mm-hmm. So you need to figure out your customized numbers. And people tend to look at that the first time and get really overwhelmed. So if we can figure out a system to simplify all that, the numbers and the foods and the building of meals, that is going to help you stick with it and stick with it for the long haul. And you gave a specific answer already. You gave up the meal builder formula. And it's one, two, three simple. It's that simple. simple. Lean protein, starchy carb, and a fibrous carb. Yeah. So all you have to do is learn what, a, what is a lean protein, what is a starchy carb, and what is a fibrous carb. And in fact, you don't even have to learn if you want to take a cheat sheet, you can turn right to the page in the book and see a list. Yeah. And, and it's just, it's like paint by numbers easy. It's mix and match. Yeah. And that's the, 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 nutrition can get more sophisticated than that. And sometimes it has to be. If somebody wants to say compete in a figure competition or do a fitness contest or get to extremely low body fat, granted, it's going to get a little more complicated and sophisticated, but getting started is really easy when you have formulas and templates like that. Yeah, it really, really is. Not only but I found it was satisfying. I remember I told you that I read your book on vacation. My husband and I were gone for a month on vacation and I lost all that body fat on vacation. Give me a break. Okay. Give me a break. We're talking eating out every day, all day long, and part 16 of those days was on a cruise ship, a small little, actually it was only 300 passenger uh, boat. But this is what was so easy for us to do. It's like, okay, do, you know, baked potato, which I stayed away from potatoes for like so long, right? It's like, potatoes are taboo. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm still losing. I'm eating potatoes. It's like, that food ministers to me. <laughs> like potatoes are my friend. Um, but you know, chicken or fish or you know, whatever. Like I told you, I'm eating lots of breakfast tacos. Greek yogurt, non-fat Greek yogurt. Oh, 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 oh. I feel like I'm having dessert for breakfast every day. It is so good and so simple to do. Like this is not, it's not rocket science. Anyone can do that. But why have other programs failed? Let's say like, you know, the popular thing of cutting out all your carbs. 
Well, that's exactly it, cutting it all out, mm -hmm. restriction. You know, one direction that a lot of nutrition research has gone in the past decade or so is about flexible versus rigid mm -hmm. dieting. Mm -hmm. And what they found was that people tried so hard to be strict. Yeah. What, which, whatever the philosophy was, you know, let's say it's low carb. They cut all the carbs out and they try so hard to be strict and yeah. this pressure builds up inside them to the point where they just explode and then they have a massive binge on carbs. <laughs> You know, you, you can eat carbs with, with very few exceptions. People who are genetically really susceptible to uh, their carb intolerant, they have metabolic syndrome. I mean, these are people who Which have- Which is so the, rare, super, yeah. super, super rare, but so many people think they have it. Uh, yeah, that's true. And mm -hmm. if, you'll, if you'll know the right number of carbs to eat inside the right amount of calories to eat, you can, you can eat potatoes, you can eat bread. In fact, funny thing about potatoes, researchers found out that potatoes are one of the most filling foods you can eat. It's, there's something called a satiety index. Mm. And they found that potatoes are number one on the list. Mm. And here people have been cutting them out. So a lot of fad diets are based on putting the blame on, a, on one food, on yeah. one culprit, because having a bad guy is really easy to sell. It is really great to sell. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It's true. But bodybuilders eat potatoes. They eat true. bread. They eat pasta. And they're the leanest people in the world. <laughs> this is what, and I got to tell you, it was like really hard for me to go, huh, huh, do I trust this? Do I try this? It was really difficult because you literally were pounding through your book. I'm saying it's you. You wrote it. You were talking to me directly. I was having the hardest time through, for example, like even raising my calories because once I, once I found that, I think it was in chapter six, where I figured out the amount of calories that I was supposed to be eating based on my weight, my height, and you know, this formula that you gave in the book. Uh, and then of course I started actually testing my body fat with a, with a skin caliper. Uh, so to tell me exactly what my lean body mass, but that was like hugely huge. Like, oh, am I going to gain weight if I try doing this? I couldn't believe it. I was losing fat every single week. And what you said, which is so perfect, even after I hit my goal, I've hit the goal on the scale. I've hit the goal of my waist. I've hit the goal of my body fat. I'm done. I'm still eating that same way. I love it. This is Danny Johnson, the book, Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle, Tom Venuto. Get it now and get the other one, The Body Fat Solution. We'll continue with more after this. Helping you become all you were meant to be. This is The Danny Johnson Show. More resources, more training, more results. The DannyJohnson.com Insider Membership is your ultimate success shortcut. Get exclusive access to reports, videos, audios, ebooks, cheat sheets, and other training for your personal and professional life. This is truly DannyJohnson.com's best kept secret. Become an Insider member today and get on the fast track to success. Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org. Put The Danny Johnson Show to work for you by advertising your product or service. The Danny Johnson Show has tens of thousands of listeners who are just like you. People who need what you're offering, but just don't know it yet. Savvy business owners and marketing directors advertise on The Danny Johnson Show. To promote your products and services on The Danny Johnson Show, email john at dannyjohnson.com or call 866-760-8255. I just heard this amazing story. One of our clients had written us telling us that they had used job domination and unlimited success and has absolutely exploded their career. He said, Danny, I don't know where I'd be today without job domination and unlimited success. Listen. 
Do you want more recognition from your coworkers? Do you want to be recommended to people all over the world? Do you want to be somebody that is highly sought after? Listen, if you're in a dead end place where this gentleman found himself, but then learned new strategies and changed everything in his work life, and obviously this has resulted in higher bonuses and pay raises, you're next. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of Job Domination right now. 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880. Job Domination, that's what you need. It's time for you to dominate the job market and break through the rut that you're in. Be sure to tell a friend about The Danny Johnson Show. It just might be the key to the breakthrough they need. If you're tired and you're frustrated and you're ready to be done with being tired and frustrated, then today is the day that you can begin a brand new life, completely new, filled with confidence, yes, assuredness, and a plan. Tom Venuta has been here with us today, best-selling author of Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle. Tom, what do you say to that person that's on the fence right now as to whether or not they should take control over their health and their life? Know that you can get started just by taking the first step. And more than that, know what the right first step to take is for you, which is figure out what the priority is. I think that the combination of all those four elements, nutrition, weight training, cardio training, and mental training is important. It, it can make someone hesitate and, and feel overwhelmed at first. So figure out what the one area that would help you the most is. And for most people, it's their nutrition. Yes. And, and just make one change at a time. Just make the commitment to make one change. Take a look at a place where you know you have room for improvement. And I think everybody knows what that is instinctively, <laughs> right off the top of their head. And just start there and just get started. And then once you've started, that's the first habit knock down and then you'll just knock down the next one like a line of dominoes but you have to take that first step and that's exactly what your book motivated me to do absolutely you've turned this fitness atheist activist <laughs> into a fitness activist no longer an atheist it has so changed my life tom i'm telling you i have tears in my eyes even right now thinking about um how much against i was uh, all of this and how much it's changed my life, how I feel about myself, how I have a vision for my physical future, my health future, how I have a path to do it. You made it so simple in your book, and it really has transformed me. It's transformed others that are around me as well, and I'm looking forward to the many, many, many thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of stories that are going to pour in after they've tapped into you and your website, burnthefatfeedthemuscle.com. Tom Venuto is his name. The book Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle. You can get it at Amazon, Walmart, anywhere. Barnes & Nobles, you can find the book anywhere. Also pick up a second book that handles eating disorders, <laughs> emotional eating habits, all of that, which nailed me as well. Um, that is The Body Fat Solution. Check out his inner circle. Check out the community that is growing there. He is making a major difference in people's lives. This is Danny Johnson. We hope that you enjoyed today's show. I know that's a great companion, especially for those of you who are already fitness activists and health activists. This is a perfect companion. Trust me, I read it from that perspective as well. Is, does this fit even our clients who come from those worlds? And the answer is absolutely. Even if you sell a diet program, this is a perfect companion with what you are marketing. Yeah, so let us know over at dannyjohnson.com or come over. If you haven't joined us yet on Facebook, what are you waiting for? Over f almost 500,000 people that gather on one of those pages, over 200,000 on another page. Uh, amazing people that you want to connect with, people who are moving their life ahead, paying off debt, growing their incomes, their businesses, their careers, having better relationships at home and as work, and taking care of the poor on top of that to boot. So God bless you, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Did you hear that last segment? Do you know someone else who needs to hear it? Go to dannyjohnson.com, find today's show, and share it online. Join us every weekday at 7 a.m. for more insights that will help you get to the life you've always wanted.